Well, hey guys, we're back and we had fun. We caught a few in the creeks. Uh, the moving around, they're still, the, the temperature's still all over the place, but they're, they're moving here and there. So you just got to chase them out. We're going to start out in the creeks first, and then we're going to try the trees. And if we don't do good in there, we're going to hit back out in the middle. We're going to see if we can catch some good ones, guys. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, this is the lure we're using today, guys. It's a Johnson Beetle Spin with a gold blade on it. I got a 1 seconds jig head hook. That's a size number four. And I got a bleeding shad Bobby Garland jig on there and a live minnow. These crappie are on the ambush. They're waiting for prey to come by so they can ha hammer it. They're not chasing schools. They're waiting for prey. Hey. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> He's a fighter. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Yep, we'll take him. Well, now I'm. The bleeding shad did okay, but it's still slow, so I'm changing to a, a licorice. It's a licorice chartreuse pearl Bobby Garland jig with the minnow. And we're going to try that for a little while. See if it has any better, uh, if it has any more bites or not. Hmm. There he was. Oh, there he is. He's still there. Man, I'm going to tell you, that was a thumping crappie. He's a little guy, but that's probably the biggest thump I've, I've had in a little while. But he did bite that chartreuse, uh, no, what was that? Char uh, licorice chartreuse pearl. Little bitty guy. All right, later. All right. I'm fixing to jump through the loops here. Good for it. Well, there's a lot of leaves back here. Oh, we're hoping there's a couple of crappie. I'll fight the leaves if there's some crappie in here. Some good ones. See if we can kind of find this one. Oh, lots of hiding spots. Good open spot. The sun's warming it up nicely. So the bait's here. There ought to be some fish here. There he is. What we got here? That's old crappie. <laughs> there is crappie back here. That's good. Oh yeah. He's a good eater. We'll take him. Make sure this ain't loaded up with some crappie. A lot of leaves to fight through, but hey, we'll try it. Uh -oh. What we got here? Oh man, this is a good something. I can get him out of the stuff over there man he keeps getting tangled up oh man what is that oh come on baby come on i need to get you out of there i ain't even seen this fish yet it must be a bass i don't know oh yeah he's he's a big bass 
that's a pretty good one. I wonder why I couldn't move you. Whoa, good grief. Holy moly, guys. This big old bass has been hiding back here. Look at that, wow. That's pretty good for a beetle spin. Oh, you you know I gotta put him on the scales here right quick. Get this old lure out of him, if I can. Oh, I knew he was a strong fish, but he wasn't hitting the top of the surface. Man, that is a solid bass right there. Well, let's give him my old way out. What do y'all guys think? I'm thinking, hmm, I'm thinking three and a half. He's a long one. Maybe four, possible. Zero this scale. Uh, four ten. Four ten, guys. He's a fun one, boy. Look at that. Hey, I might as well give him a length to try. Just see what this guy weighs on. I mean, his length is. Okay. 19 and 3 quarters. That's a fun guy. Look how thick. I mean, that is a thick bass right there. Solid. That was fun. Hater. <laughs> Well, guys, I squeezed back here and in here a little further and found out there's crappie and bass. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Just as soon as I threw that in there, that crappie jumped on it. Well, hey, let's see that again. <laughs> it was a little guy, but still. Wow, man, this, is, this might be a good little spot. I know one thing, I have fun catching that four pound bass. That, that was something else right there. And I actually, he wasn't surfacing and trying to shake the hook. So I was actually thinking, man, this could possibly be a giant crappie. But it wasn't. It was a, it was a giant bass, though. Man. And I'm glad I caught him. He was fun. Oh, beetle spin. Got him. And uh, I just happened to have that uh, bleeding shad back on there, too. So they really liked that bleeding shad. Even the bass good color all right there it is bleeding shed by bobby garland very very good productive color so far for me i'll be using some more of them for sure let's see if we can find another something There he is. Man, that feels like a pretty good crappie. Oh yeah. He's looking like a pretty good crappie. I don't know where my net is. <laughs> keep a little pressure on him. Just keep him from flipping out of here. All right, we got him. That's a good one. Man, I don't know why I waited to come back in here. This, this is turning out to be a good little spot. Pretty crappie. Yes, sir. We'll take you. Try another one. I done just in this little spot that I was kind of because it was shallow. See, it is three foot deep, 2.9 to three foot. I was thinking, man, them crappie probably ain't going to be in here, but here they are. 65 degrees. It's actually cooler in here than it was back there. And the fish are here. It's because they're transitioning, they're on that move. And uh, there's plenty of bait in here. I seen that when I come in here, there was bait moving everywhere, but there wasn't no bite there for a second. Now all of a sudden there, there's a few bites. So we, if we might've found a little hot spot right here. I'm definitely gonna fish in here for a minute. I hear some more fish on down through the creek. 
I may be headed that way in a little bit. But right now, hey, I'll just try what, what I got. Like I said, them leaves are becoming a problem on this side. But as the wind blows, the wind is like right over there. It's clear the wind's blowing these leaves to one side. So it, it's helping. But see a good spot, even if there's leaves there, throw to it. Because that's how I caught that four pounder. It looked like a good spot. I was willing to, to you know, jig around through the leaves as I pull my lure through. Man, that was a good, that was a good bass. That's a good crappie I just caught. So we'll just keep going here and see what happens. See if we can't find us another crappie in here. <laughs> you know what's a trip? I mean, I don't know how. I, oh, it is. Oh, I don't know how. Uh, how deep this creek goes all the way down there, but this thing's like five miles long before it gets to the river. So there's there's a lot of area to fish. Lots and lots of area to fish, and I I'm just fished two little points so far. I mean, I hadn't probably fished 50 to 100 yards of this creek, and and it goes about five miles so before it gets to the river. I don't know. <laughs> I'll probably be fishing some more, you know, going on down later on. Just fish it as I go. When they thump it really hard and they're not really biting that much, you end up with a little crappie. Then the big crappie, are, there it goes. The big crappie are probably ticking it. I pulled him all the way out of the water, but I didn't get him. There he is, if I can get him. Oh yeah. Hey, yeah, that's a good one. Yes, sir. That's a good eater, we'll take him. There he goes. Yeah. That's another good eater. Yes, sir. Another black crappie. We'll take him. But yeah, guys, this this is under three foot deep, and these crappies back here in these shallows, pretty interesting. Sixty six degrees now, and they're still still hanging in here. I think a lot of it has to do maybe they're hot. Some of these smaller fish are hiding from them gars, or I don't know. Maybe they just moved to the creeks. Anyway, we found some. We're happy. Happy to catch a few. I'm going to hang in these creeks for a while too if they're going to keep biting. There's no sense in me leaving if they're going to hang in here. So, I mean, it, it's kind of tough fishing. You got leaves in here. You got the brush. Some of the brush is in the middle. But hey, I can swim around this old beetle spin and catch crappie. I'm gonna do it. It's fine with me. I don't mind fighting a few leaves. Now when it gets too bad and it's too thick, you can't pull through there. That's a different story. But right now, it's not too bad. I mean, it's tough. But hey, all fishing's a little tough in one way or another. So you might as well just grit your teeth and catch some crappie. <laughs> all 
they could be anywhere there is no particular spot they're just they're just spread out if i catch one in a certain area i'm going to fish that area a little bit more there may be another one in that area but i can see the bottom right there or i can see a brush top right there so you know but look at this this shady area I, this is where i think they like to lay especially in these shallow waters they can definitely see better See if we can get one to come out of this corner right here. There he is. And another one. Yeah, he's a little borderline. But he's a pretty crappie. Another black crappie. Alright guy, later. If I can get him in. Come on, buddy. Oh, man, that's a pretty good fighter. Oh, yeah, that's a nice crappie. Oh, he's a good fight. He's got, he got that scum all over him. It's on top of the water. Back in here. Oh, yeah, he's a pretty one. That's a pretty crappie. Mm-hmm. He, he's a black crappie, but he's got a light color to him. Really pretty. We'll take him. See if this old beetle spin and Baba Garland jig and live minnow will talk to another one. Super shallow, shallow water. That was a pretty aggressive crappie. I mean, he was all over the place. It's fun, man. I mean, when there's debris all over the place, your challenge is on. You seen that big bass? How much trouble I had with him? Because he kept pulling right back into the, the debris and the bush, you know, the buck brush and stuff. And I had a time with him. And he easily, being I only got six pound test, he easily could have broke that, broke off. But... It's trying to keep him away from the that stuff and see if you can get him in. But we ought to be able to find another crappie in this spot right here. I think they like it for some reason. Uh, let's try this spot right here. All this is a good ambushing spot because... Oh, there he was. There, there he is again. It's because they got to come through this little circle. And they, they position themselves on this circle to ambush that prey oh, up a little more I don't want to get up there too far but I think there might be one that's a good spot for one to hide right there there he is yeah come on baby oh that's a good one that's a pretty good one I might have to do, get the net on him. <laughs> oh yeah. Hold this thing from pulling me in there too fast. Oh man, I think I got me a slab. <laughs> slab in the shallows. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a, that's a pretty crappie right there. Yes sir. Hey, we give him a little, little way on the scale. I think he'll push a pound. Zero this out and let's see what you got. 117. He's close to a pound and a quarter. And yeah, some of y'all might want to know what his length is. These old white crappie, they're pretty long. Yeah, he's on about 13 and a half, 13 and three quarter right in that area. But he's a good thick crappie. We'll take him. But I actually fished a sunny spot right there. Caught that nice one. But hey, there might be another one over there. Let's see if I can wake him up. Try to wake him up and say hello. And it could be this right here. 
It could be right here in this corner, really super close to me, if I can get this lure to work right. So we're going to try this spot right here. Just to see. Oh, no, no, no. We didn't want to go that far. Oh, no. We didn't want to go that far. There he is. <laughs> I got snagged and got go close to the boat and the old bass jumped on it. <laughs> that was fun. Did not expect that, but hey, it was fun. A little old bass. Later. Try that spot right there. There he is. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, that's another good eater. Easy guy. All right. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. We'll take him. Oh, there he was. I think I'm going to have to tighten it up one click. Yeah, he run it sideways, but uh, he let go pretty quick. So, And I'm surprised because that's almost in the same area. There he goes again. I was going to say it's about in the same area. I just caught that last one. Yeah, he's a little, a little chunkier. Ah, easy there. Another good one. We'll take him. This is all shady right here. They could be anywhere. Let's see if we can locate one or two. There he was. Good thump. And I lost him. We'll give him another try. Yeah. Give him another try. Yeah, it's got a bunch of leaves there now. I don't know. The wind's blowing all over the place. But it was right in that area. Easy. Easy. The wind is swinging the boat around, but that's okay. Try it again. Mm-hmm. Boom, there he is. Oh, good one. A lot better one. I can get him in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean he he's not a pounder, but he, he's close. Well, yeah, he's close. He's a good crappie. I've been catching good eating size, and I've been catching a few, you know, two or three big ones, nice ones. Hey man, he's got other good thick back on him. I'm gonna give him a try, see how close he is to that pounder. 85 he's he's not too far but yeah that's another good one and that's a white crappie old white crappie done come up in here we'll take him try this spot right here again 
We done drifted in. I had to get it unhung. I come and got my lure unhung, and I want to try the spot again because I'm getting there. He is getting some good bites right there. Oh yeah, another good eater. He's not as big as that last one, but he's a definitely a good eating crappie. Yes, sir. We'll take him. Since I'm coasting this way, we'll give it another try. But yeah, I found a little hot spot right there, and it's a shady spot. They like in the shade. I was gonna say, I got a big minnow on here. He's, he's a little overgrown minnow. So maybe I'll catch an overgrown crappie. I was hoping. <laughs> Of course, I'll probably cut, catch a dink on it because it's a big one. There he goes. Oh, I lost him. He didn't. He he bit and then let go. So, I mean, I did hooks pull. I don't know. Let's see if there's another one. Might be a little crappie trying to get this big minnow. There he is. I got him. He was a littler one, but he had a big old bite. Try another one. What I'm gonna do, since they're biting so good, I'm gonna, which I am getting almost, I'm, I'm just about out of menace. I'm probably gonna throw some crappie bites on here and see if they'll hit them too. But we found a little hot spot right here. Hopefully we can catch a couple more. There we go. There he is. That feels like a good one. A good something. Oh yeah, that's a good crappie. Easy baby. He's a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're talking about. That looks like he's over a pound. He's a pretty, pretty good crappie right there. Good thick back on him. Give him a little weigh in here. Oh, I didn't zero it out right. He's a, it was registering at 113, I think, but we'll do it again. Zero, okay. Oh, 118. Not bad. He's a pretty one. That's another white crappie. We'll take him. See if we can get another one. There he is on the other one. Oh yeah, another good eating size. He's a good one. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll take him. Get in here again. We done found that magical creek spot. Try a little bit to this side just, just to see if there's any more. Or are they all in that one area waiting to ambush in that one certain spot? <laughs> It seems like you're casting that same exact spot. Right, like right, I'll show you where it's at. Now that's close. But you get in that one general area. Oh, I got some Tupelo leaf with me that time. 
The thing is, all the leaves are like building up right here. I don't know why. But. There's another, another one. Mm -hmm. That's a good fighter. Yes, sir. That's a pretty good crappie. He's a thick crappie. Oh, yeah. Good eater. We'll take it. I got some good reaction strikes there. Beings, uh, we was uh, fighting a crappie every other cast. It, it drawed attention, and a lot of them come over here and started joining in. <laughs> Just started reeling them in one after another. Fun, fun. Well, the wind's got me now, so I don't know if I'll get in there on top of them again, but I want to try. Come on. There he is. <laughs> uh, come up here on the back side and snuck up on another one. <laughs> yeah, another good one. We'll take him. I'm going to try him again. We're kind of just uh, floating around and they're still in that area. They didn't, there he is. They didn't want it in the same direction no more. So I, oh yeah, that's a good one. So I come up over to the side. Another white crappie. Here's a good one. We'll take it. And uh, I come to the side so I wouldn't. Uh, be going the same direction every single cast that way we kind of change things up a little bit and see what else we can catch I'll try them again they like it and I like it if they're happy I'm happy <laughs> alright let's see if we can get another one And now, right here, I'm almost behind it. Let's see if I can get him to bite again. And this right here would be behind it. Coming through these two trees, it'd be behind that spot. So there he is. <laughs> I know that good man. <laughs> man i'm gonna tell you they like this beetle spin and they like these uh these bobby garlands they're that uh bleeding shad and they like a minnow on there for sure we'll take it well guys i used all of my all of my minnows i'll throw a couple green crappie bites on there i mean we might as well see if we can if they'll still hit this old beetle spin. I think that's what they're after anyhow. This old beetle spin. I don't think it matters. I mean, it's it's nice to have live real bait on there. But they will hit these, these old crappie bites too. For sure. All right, let's wake him up again. One more time. Let's see if we can get another one. One more time. There he is. <laughs> Easy guy. Yeah, I'm just curious how long that thing is. He's 10. But I'm gonna let him go anyway. Let him.
See if we can catch another one. There he is. Oh yeah, good one. <laughs> oh yeah. Come on in here, buddy. Mm. Yeah, that's a good crop. Good eater. We'll take him.